best weather of the year so far is coming to much of the United States over the next several days, but with that means that we are going to have another large storm by the end of next week that will bring more severe weather to much of the Great Plains, the Midwest, even parts of the Ohio Valley, and even the lower Mississippi Valley could be dealing with some severe weather, but before all that happens, we're talking about some fantastic weather over the next several days. So in this weather forecast, we're going to be breaking down absolutely everything that you need to know over the next 7 to 10 days with really nice weather for the next few days and then it's going to get a little bit more dicey as we get closer to the end of this upcoming week. Now let's begin first with what's happening right now in the United States that'll end up leading to this fantastic weather over the next few days and right now we do have this large scale low pressure system that's actually back up in Canada and this is continuing to move to the north and east. It's going to continue to weaken and we are going to be done with this storm. This is the storm that actually brought the threat for tornadoes yesterday. This particular storm did actually bring a confirmed five tornadoes to areas near St. Louis yesterday. This is still in progress, though. There were probably more tornadoes than that. They just haven't all been confirmed yet, but we did have five confirmed tornadoes from yesterday, and there are still surveys ongoing at the time that I'm recording this forecast. But this entire storm system is now moving into New England, and it's eventually going to be completely out of here. And so we are done at least with the significant severe weather threat for the next few days. There will be a chance for a couple of isolated severe storms late today in the southeast, but I'm not too concerned about that. That. And then the Southern Plains, there's cloud cover, and it's actually going to get very active in the Southern Plains this weekend, primarily tomorrow. And we are going to be watching for some significant rainfall, but no severe weather is in the forecast. Uh, upwards of three to five inches of rain will actually be possible in some areas. So definitely be prepared for that if you're in Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, or Mississippi. And then the West Coast is really the dream weather that we want right now across much of the Great Plains, Midwest, and the Ohio Valley. This will eventually start to move into much of the United States later this weekend and we'll be dealing with some fantastic weather. Now there is also a large cool down that's going to be coming with all of this which is why I'm saying this is really going to be one of the best weekends of the entire year when it comes to weather across much of the United States. This is the temperature anomalies and it gives you an idea of above average and below average temperatures. I don't think we've looked at a chart like this in any of our forecasts over the last like several weeks maybe even months now because there just hasn't been much to talk about. It's just been so warm but we are going to have a large cold blast across much of the central and southern plains and as well as the midwest as we go into saturday and sunday eventually as we go into monday into tuesday that cold weather will reach areas in the southeast but florida gonna be kind of on the fringe of that and then once we go into tuesday wednesday and thursday we'll have another shot of cold air in the northeast meanwhile much of the great plains will return back closer to average weather if not above average as we go into next weekend and that's eventually when we'll have the chance for more severe weather so this may shock some of you but we actually have freeze warning that are in effect across parts of the Midwest for tonight. That's for Southwest Wisconsin, parts of Iowa, and even Southern Minnesota. So make sure that you are protecting your sensitive vegetation in those areas. Now, the temperatures for the next few days are going to vary pretty substantially. We are going to drop below freezing in many areas of Wisconsin, Iowa, and as well as Minnesota, as far south as areas like Nebraska. By Sunday, temperatures will still drop off a little bit. A few areas might get close to freezing in the Northeast, maybe even in areas like Michigan. A couple areas will at least get get close to freezing, but Florida is really going to be the one state that I would say has the worst weather for this entire week because it is going to be so hot down there. We're going to be talking about 80s and 90s almost every day. Even when that cool down comes, many areas are still going to be dealing with 80s and 90s, so it's going to be pretty warm in Florida most of the weekend and into early next week. Temperatures will rebound again as we get closer to Tuesday and Wednesday, but overall, still fantastic weather. We're dealing with 50s across the Midwest. That's pretty nice weather overall, and the Northeast will be dealing with some areas in in the 40s and 50s, but overall, again, very nice weather for the most part here across the country. So over the next few days, plenty of rain across the southern plains. Notice we actually will have a chance for even a, maybe a couple of snowflakes or sleet pellets tomorrow morning in southwest Kansas. A little bit of a surprise for this time of the year, but plenty of rainfall across Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, all throughout the day Saturday. Sunday, that rain moves into the southeast, not nearly as heavy. And then once we go into Monday and Tuesday, we're clearing out dominant high pressure system. Once again, perfect weather for most of the United States. Tuesday and Wednesday, a small disturbance will roll across the Midwest with some showers, maybe storms, but I'm not expecting any severe weather as of right now there. And then by the time we go into Thursday and Friday, that is when a large severe weather event remains possible. We'll talk about that here in just a second. Here's the rainfall accumulation for this weekend across the Southern Plains. Most areas will pick up at least a half an inch of rain. There will be some spots that pick up as much as two to four inches of rain. Isolated locations could even pick up as much as six or even seven inches 
inches of rain when this event is all said and done. So a lot of rain is coming to the United States over the next couple of days. Now, severe weather is going to be a concern as we go into next week because we already have a slight risk for severe weather for tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday. Obviously, a bit of a surprise, but this is something that we see a lot more often than not as we go into April and even into May. This slight risk for severe weather does include areas from Kansas back into north central Texas. You may be wondering what is the timing and what will be the threats? Well, timing's probably going to be in the evening, but obviously we are still several days out, so things could change. In addition to that, I think the main concern for Thursday is going to be damaging winds and large hail with some sort of tornado risk, but I do think as we go into Friday, we might be watching a larger area. I don't know where it exactly will be because we are still several days out and things could change, but this would be the broad area of where I would watch for at least some sort of threat of severe weather as we go into Friday. Not everybody's going to see severe weather in this area. It's just an outline of where we'll probably have our Friday severe weather event, which as we go into Friday and a Saturday, I'm expecting at least some level of severe weather in the Midwest and even into the Great Plains. So here's the timing past Wednesday. We're going to be dealing with, again, showers and storms across the Central Plains on Wednesday. A low risk of severe weather probably will exist on Wednesday. Overall, severe weather, again, a low threat probably, though, on Wednesday. By the time we go into Thursday, we'll get a trough ejection, so that should allow for a more robust and significant severe weather event for both Thursday and Friday for much of the Great Plains and back even into the western Midwest. And then once we go into Friday afternoon and evening, we'll probably have that severe weather threat moving into areas like the Midwest. And by Saturday, that storm will likely move out to the east. We might even see another large storm develop late Saturday into Sunday where that could produce more significant severe weather. And by Sunday, most likely going to be dealing with a lot of showers and storms across much of the Midwest and as well as back through the southern plains. And then after that, things become relatively uncertain. Obviously, we are still talking about an event that is well over seven days from now. So just relax, enjoy the nice weather for now. This obviously, we still do need to watch for this large storm that's coming late next week. And we are going to show you the low level jet. This does give us an idea of what the tornado risk might look like for both Thursday and Friday. So that low level jet will start to crank as we go into Thursday evening. So I am expecting at least some elevated tornado risk, probably in Kansas or even northern Oklahoma. Once we go into late Friday, it looks like that low level jet will intensify as it moves towards the Midwest. And this could allow for a bit more of an elevated tornado risk as well as this activity moves to the east. But once again, where this actually happens still remains uncertain because we are still several days out and this could shift further down to the south. It could even shift further to the north. It's entirely possible it could change. So keep that in mind. And by Saturday into Sunday, that storm moves to the north and east. And then we'll have another storm behind that one, which honestly, that one is even way more uncertain since we are talking about an event that is over 10 days from now. Here's the moisture as well for Thursday. So we'll have plenty of moisture in the central and southern plains. This has been an issue with multiple of the last severe weather events, but dew points into the 60s will create a lot of buoyancy. And by Friday into Saturday, that moisture continues to stay well up into the 60s and 70s. So it does look like we'll have a pretty favorable environment overall for severe weather. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.